Hey everyone, Gamer J Lee here and welcome to another video and today 343 Industries finally announced all of the wrecks you will be able to get in the Hog Wild update. Now I'm not going to lie, it is a very short list compared to other months. I mean, this is way shorter, there's no major multiplayer map or anything, it is just the vehicles and a few extra items. So this is going to go pretty quickly, but I'm going to go into a little bit of analysis on each of these items. So let's begin and check them out to start off we have the vespin rocket hog now this is a very interesting vehicle and honestly i'm not a big fan of rocket hogs because honestly i would prefer a chain gun or even a goss warthog over the rocket hog but the cool part about this is that it has a quicker reload speed than most rocket hogs and it does also have high acceleration so it's a little bit faster so could this be useful for taking out air enemies i think so uh, i do like the black and yellow design of the vehicle it is a legendary so that's pretty awesome we do have a legendary in this pack because there is not many i believe in total there is only two and they're both on this screen at the same time so we got a couple legendaries but that is it with this now, I honestly would probably not even use this vehicle even when I get it though. Next on the list, we have a Sword Kneeler Warthog. Now, this is kind of interesting because it's a collaboration between the Swords of San Helios and the UNSC. Now, I really like the idea behind this, a Needler Warthog. Like, what kind of crazy crap will that have? Like, we've seen some strange weapons get Needler effects recently, and this is the next big thing. Now, am I going to be using this? Hell yes. I cannot wait to get my hands on this wreck and tear it up in Warzone and just basically cause all sorts of problems because I don't know how it's going to fire. Is it going to be a tracking needle just like what the actual Needler does, or is it going to be where you have to hit the shot and then it'll cause a super combine and basically cause all sorts of havoc i'm not sure but i really know that i do like the design i do like the red paint job the swords of san helios design um i do like the yellow on the vespin actually more but the sword kneeler is really cool and i actually think they fit the theme really well and i just think it's gonna be an awesome vehicle that a lot of people are gonna want to use including me but Moving on, we have the two Warthogs that I'm really looking forward to the most, and that is because of the green design. Now, first of all, we have the Rally Scout Warthog. Now, the main difference with these are is that it, the only description we have of them is advanced and durable high speed hog with greatly increased speed and heavy armor. So, honestly, like a lot of people originally were saying that this one was going to be able to hold more people like we were kind of hoping this would be a troop transfer hog but it turns out it's just a regular scout warthog now is that bad kind of because this is going to be a very lackluster update and that was kind of like the one thing that a lot of people were hoping for is that this would be able to hold more people than standard now the cool part is that the other one is a standard rally warthog and it does have increased speed and heavy armor so this could cause a lot of havoc and again i like the green and blue design it's going to be pretty cool and i cannot wait to get my hands on this one almost as much as the kneeler one but not as much next we have the starfire visor now i'm just gonna say this and i said this in the last one that i did there's really no difference in the visors like you cannot tell one from the other unless like you know it by heart and honestly they all look the same now like there are so many that look just like this and really there's no point whatsoever to releasing more visors unless like someone is like begging for it. but i don't see anyone begging for new visors when we already have like the freaking skittles rainbow of visors Next thing we do have, though, is something that is really cool. We have the Stinger Armor. Now, this is an armor that a lot of people are liking the design of. I personally am having mixed feelings on it. Um, it kind of looks like a Cyclops. I I'm not going to lie. It kind of looks like a Cyclops with like almost like what looks to be like a flashlight at the top of his head. And I like it, but at the same time, I don't. I don't know why, but... 
it's interesting in the design, but I don't know if it's going to be that appealing because uh, the head kind of looks like a dick. I'm not going to lie. The head kind of looks like a dick. Like, yes, it also could be like a Cyclops or, you know, something that looks like a mining helmet with the flashlight, but seriously, it's pointed like a dick. Like, seriously, it's a dickhead. Moving on, we have the Interceptor Rictus Armor. Now, this is a pretty cool design. I do like it. I do like the little pouches on the, you know, on the shoulder pads. I also like the helmet with the two little points going up into the back. This is kind of a sleek design that I'm not a big fan of the face part, but I do like the design at the top of the helmet as well as the design of the body. It kind of seems sleek, but the shoulders are bulky, so it kind of reminds me of almost like football armor, uh, the way the shoulder pads are, but like the pouches on the side kind of add that like unique, oh, I need to reach over and get a stem pack or something if this was like a Spartan out on the field. So that's pretty cool. I kind of like it, kind of don't. Um, honestly, I think that out of the two, I would like the Interceptor more. The Stinger is still nice, but, you know, it looks too much like a dick. And honestly, this one I think I could see myself wearing every so often and checking out whenever it comes out. So next up, we have the Hybrid Weapon Attachments. Now these are basically for Warzone. And I kind of have mixed feelings on these because, yes, they are pretty cool. They are basically a combination of the Carbine's Holoscope, which is basically that sight you have of the Carbine. And originally, whenever Halo 5 Guardians came out, I was not a fan of the sights of the actual Carbine. I did not like them. I've gotten used to them, but I wasn't a big fan. Now, am I going to like them on these weapons? I have no freaking clue. I think it's an interesting way to have lore about the weapons and how the Sanheili and the UNSC are working together to improve technology and come together to help each other out. But is it going to be really that special? I don't know. I might use these. I might not. But it's something new to have and sort of use while you're playing Warzone. And now we have a number 11 emblem. This is another emblem that a lot of people are like, oh my god, we have so many numbers. And me, I just keep the same boring emblem. But there is one that I know that I will probably use, and that is that new Mombasa logo. That is a really cool emblem. I really like the design of this and I just think that it's going to be uh, one that I would probably throw on there. And I would almost probably keep the original like colors. I don't think I would want to alter it that much. And I think it's just one that like really has a special like design to it to the point that I think it's rare. And that like a lot of people who appreciate Halo and appreciate the past games are going to want to keep this and actually use that. The next one we have is Starchy, uh, which is, I guess, the paperclip again uh, from, I don't remember which operating system it was that had the paperclip. I think it was XP or whatever. I'm not sure. Maybe one of you guys could tell me. I've never seen the one with the mustache and the evil eyes, but hey, if this thing is real, let me know down in the comments. Uh, next, we have another, another emblem and this one is an ultra rare and it is called dare now this one is kind of interesting because it's a heart it's a heart and i may not be getting it but i can't quite tell like let me look at it real quick i can't tell what it's supposed to represent but it's basically a heart with an arrow through it um does it have something to do with veronica dare like, I could be wrong. Um, if any of you guys know if this has something to do with Veronica Dare or something, let me know down in the comments below. And finally, the best emblem of them all, I, that's going to be hard to say, but the Grunt Emblem. The classic Grunt Emblem that appeared in Halo 2, but with a little bit of a twist, there is confetti around him. Just kind of a inside joke towards the actual Grunt birthday party. Uh, which is a skull that allows confetti and children to scream in happiness as grunts die by getting shot in the head. The next thing we have is the Unrum, uh, Unrum, Arum, uh, a skin that kind of looks 
and uh, I, I'm not really excited about this one. Uh, it kind of looks like the gold standard, which is a very similar skin. I, I mean, if you compare the two the, side by side, they're going to be pretty damn close. But we have the Unrim skin, or whatever it is. I don't know how you pronounce it. Like, not even Green Skull can pronounce it properly from what I could tell. And uh, this one's very similar to the Gold Standard, which was another, uh, this one was, the other one was a Legendary skin. And honestly, they need to come up with some other ones. Like, do a Seahawks theme. Like, you guys live in Seattle. You guys have always been, you know, support with the Seahawks. Do a Seahawks themed one, like blue and green. Like, hell, I would love that because, you know, Gamer J Lee colors. But, you know, extend your palette, guys. Come on. Like, extend your color palette to, like, reds and, fuck, make a pink set. Like, come on. Keep going. Keep working on it. And keep making new skins that are not just these boring colors. Like, honestly, the skins aren't that great this time around. But that is all of the different wrecks. So, are you guys excited for this update? It's not going to be very big. It's going to be a very basic and simple. It's just going to be simple. And is this thing that we need? Do we need a simple situation where we have just basic wrecks to calm down before we get these giant updates later this year? I'm not sure. I'm looking forward to the upcoming months. I'm looking forward to E3. And... You know, I don't know if they're going to do any kind of paid DLC after they get through all their months of free DLC. But we have so much going on coming up that this is kind of an okay change of pace and having something a little bit simple, a little bit, you know, more light. Now, would I have loved to have something a little bit more when it came to the Warthogs? Like, maybe a actual group scout Warthog from, like, Halo 3, where you could have, which was the troop transfer hog? Yes. That would have been so cool to have, like, basically a vehicle that, like, had teamwork to it. But am I gonna really complain about this and, you know, stuff? Uh, technically, I am. Because... They've got to they gotta think outside the box when it comes to the design. And we were really upset after last month's update with the vehicle not being the Falcon. Turns out it was a Phaeton. And a lot of people want a UNSC vehicle now. Like, a lot of people are saying, oh, it's still got to be probably coming. We, we've got to get a, a human vehicle. I honestly don't know if we're going to get it. I really don't know if we're going to get a human flying vehicle and it'd be cool to get a Hornet or a Falcon or whatever or something new. But honestly, this was another opportunity them for them to give us something that's going to add, you know, cooperativity and, you know, reasons to work together. And they kind of screw the pooch whenever it comes to that scout warthog. I kind of was hoping for a troop transfer one, uh, which would have been a lot more fun. But Thank you guys for joining me for another video about the newest Rex coming to Halo 5 Guardians. Uh, if you guys like this video, go ahead and leave a like. If you guys dislike this video, go ahead and leave a dislike. And if uh, you have any opinions about this that are different from mine, go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know down in the comments below if you like any of these Rex and if you are going to try and unlock any certain ones. Uh, my main focus is going to be that Kneeler Warthog and the new Mombasa and the Grunt Emblem. And maybe the Dickhead Armor. Like, the, I guess those will be my top few picks for trying to unlock things. You know I'm going to unlock them all because I got to catch them all like Pokemon. But thank you guys. And as always, Gamer J. Lee signing out.